What is the best sensitivity? Before I answer that, let's first measure the sensitivity you're already using. You want to measure the distance it takes for your mouse to make a 360 in-game. This takes DPI and in-game sensitivity out of the equation, giving you a universal sensitivity. You can also just plug in the sensitivity of your game of choice and your DPI into a sensitivity calculator like this one, if you're lazy. I'm not judging. Alright, so now you got your universal sensitivity. The higher the number, the more distance it takes to make a 360, meaning higher number is lower sensitivity. From what I've seen after looking at a lot of pro players and good aimers, if you're in the 25 to 45 centimeter range, your sensitivity is very average for first person shooter players in general. Above 45 it's quite low and under 25 is pretty high. Now do keep in mind that this also differs quite a bit from shooter to shooter, as tactical shooters like Valorant generally prefer lower sensitivities, whereas fast paced shooters like Call of Duty prefer higher sensitivities. So what is the best sensitivity? Unfortunately, there's no single best number as everyone sort of has their own unique ideal range. Note how I say range as you can actually use multiple sensitivities and switch between them without it negatively affecting your aim. Not sure how many people still believe you have to use one sensitivity all the time because of muscle memory, but this is not true and I'll link you a great little article made by Voltaic, the biggest aiming community, in the description about this topic. If you really want an indication of an ideal sensitivity, you can start around 35 centimeters, which is very average, and see if that can get comfortable for you. You can always change it up later. For fast-paced shooters, I'd recommend around 25 centimeters, so you don't run out of mouse pad space all the time. And for tactical shooters, around 45, as you don't have people circling around you that often, and that extra precision you get is very welcome. I personally use around 32 for everything, but nowadays I don't even really bother to convert my sensitivity from game to game anymore and just use what feels good, which is generally between 20 and 45 for me. Just going a bit more in-depth here, this is kind of like what a person's, in this example, my ideal sensitivity range looks like. The more red, the better I am at that sensitivity. Outside of this range my aim does get worse, but practicing those will help expand my sensitivity range, making me more versatile. Now let's say you play both Overwatch, which prefers slightly higher sensitivities, and Counter-Strike, which prefers low sensitivities. Would it be a problem to use different sensitivities for both games? I don't think so. You might just have to get used to using a sensitivity range instead of a sensitivity number. Of course, when you go outside of your current ideal sensitivity range, it will feel a bit off at first. But just give it some time to see if you adjust and can expand the ideal range for you. Answering this person, I think purposely using different sensitivities to train different aspects of your aim can be useful for a couple of things. Training with lower sensitivities can help you engage more of your arm and improve physical speed you use to switch targets, which can also translate into faster flicks with higher sensitivities. Training with higher sensitivities can help you improve precision and smoothness. These things will also help with increasing your ideal sensitivity range as you can get used to both higher and lower sensitivities. But honestly, I think sensitivity doesn't really matter too much in the end and just using what you're already comfortable with is completely fine. Just know that you can change it up, which might even be good in some cases, and you can use different sensitivities for different games. The only cases I'd really recommend changing your sensitivity are if your wrists and fingers start to hurt, which might mean your sense is too high or you're putting them under too much tension, or if you notice you simply can't turn far enough because your sense is too low. Very good. Other than that, don't think too much about it, you're probably already fine. Thanks for watching, subscribe for more, thanks, love you, bye. Scheiße.